So, welcome to the Go Champions League stream of Hellraisers against Dignitas. The second map is coming up in just a second. We've got 10 players on the server already and I will switch straight to the game. So, the first map went in the favor of Dignitas. 16 to 8 was the score and Kiabai and AZ did the major work for the Danish squad. They had 26 and 22 frags in 24 rounds. So that is quite a good amount of kills. AZ with almost more, more than a kill in every single round. He might have gotten a few 3k rounds in there. So he might have ended up with no frags in some of those rounds. But statistically AZ did get a frag in every single round. And Kiaba was just shy of those two frags to make it to that scoreline 22 for him Kiabai and AZ were definitely key players but also MSL the new guy in the squad well he's not that new anymore but he's still the new player in favor of Fetish who lo uh, who left the who left the squad and MSL did do his job on the openers quite nicely with two frags on the B bomb side once and two on the A bomb side on the terrorist side so that's actually good job for him now let's see what Harris can do on their map it was their pick and I will walk you through the map v2 process again as Hellraisers have removed cobblestone then Dignitas have removed nuke Hellraisers have banned inferno and Dignitas have vetoed overpass so then we have three maps remaining and the two teams can pick their maps out of the three remaining maps. Mirage was picked by Dignitas and Cash was picked by Hellraisers. We will see more of Dignitas in the upcoming game between Flipside and the Danish squad and we have three games tomorrow. So make sure to follow the channel to not miss any more Go Champions League matches anymore of course sponsored by twitch and steel series thanks for the amazing prize pool of thirty thousand dollars virtus pro is currently sitting on top of the league with six wins out of six matches followed by property who have three wins out of three matches uh, out of six matches maybe dignitas will finally join them on the top of the scoreboard they are currently sitting at three and one Three losses and one win and that win was against Hellraisers maybe they can do it another time as we are live with a knife round it is quite important on cash the CT side is considered to be way easier but as we just saw on Mirage sometimes it doesn't actually mean anything to the teams they just do whatever they can and sometimes they end up with an 8 to 7 scoreline on the terrorist side even though it's CT sided now Hellraisers with a chance to pick and they want to swap to the CT side of course the reasonable choice to make so I will adjust the score real quick and we are set to go cash the second map once again it is a middle sided map more or less if you have control on over middle you can basically execute wherever you want to. There's entrances to basically everything. To the A bomb side, to B, as well as to the CT spawn alley where you can get somebody into to keep the CTs from rotating. But now let's go with the pistol round. Dignitas on the terror side. Angel already spotting all of them. He can't get into cover anymore as Nico puts him down. The two CTs get quickly removed by the terrorist who is just swamping into the B-bomb side. Everybody pulled in there just like a glass of water. And now it's Kucha to reply with his 5-7. Takes out MSL. Needs to find another frag. And he does spot one. The 5-7 runs out of bullets but he gets a frag as AZ runs out of HP. Yeah, by a Nico answer back. Make it a 1v3. And that Ren is already spotted by Pimp and that's an easy frag for the Danes. They had him singled out already. Dignitas with the first round on the board. Even though Kucha had a glimpse of a chance for the CTs, his teammates couldn't make it. And of course he was running into a crossfire. So he was taken out as well. 
And the Danes with the first round on the board. Two UMPs now for MSL and AZ. Two AKs for Pimp and Kiavai. Nico with the Tech 9. He will just save his money until he can afford the AWP. And on the other side on Hellraisers we have Kucha with a 5.7. CZ 75s and P250s. And of course a huge investment by the CTs now. They try to keep the terrorists from racking up the second round. But they need to watch out. Dignitas is on the entrance, on the doorstep to the A. Bombs at Kuche is completely flashed, but MSL just walks past him. Maybe being passive was the, day, uh, was the thing to do, as Mu is certainly not passive anymore. The CZ 75 gets some two headshots at Ren. Gets another one, and it's Kiabai against Doja and Angel. Kiabai already gets or got two frags in the A bomb site. Now he needs to pick up the C4, which is lying in the open. And he tries to figure out where the CTs are headed at. He fakes the door, tries to get the attention drawn to another angle. Now picks up the C4, checks out CT spawn alley. Goes for the fake. Now he spots them both. They're both coming for him. And the AK will not do its job. The CZ 75 is too strong in the close quarter comeback. And Hellraisers did do what was necessary. They got themselves a second round. And they demolished Dignitas' momentum, especially as they just came off with a win of the first map. Would have been devastating for the CTs to not get something to get the terrorists mood down a little bit, you know. If the terrorists are in a good shape and they just keep running and you can't stop them for a single moment they just keep their momentum now they try to keep it for the b bombs at angel with a one frag but it's not enough msl puts him down now move with the reply of the scout but he's down to 18 hp doja is down to 25 that doesn't keep him from getting frags as adren is now on the b bomb side the cts with a really quick retake they didn't even allow the terrorists to plant the bomb swift movement by hellraisers but they definitely have showed off some weakness on the B bomb side. They need to find a way to keep the terrorists from pushing in there. If there are five terrorists inside, it's more or less un impossible to stop them from planting anymore. And the way to go on the B bomb side is, of course, trying to spot them first, then smoke them off, or try to get a cheeky frag with aggressive play. Have an AWP over at the B bomb side to strengthen the defense, something like that around the lines. Dignitas now with another save round. This time they will pour into the A bomb site. Kucha with a good opening frag. Adren with two and he will blow up Mu. Uh, Mu will blow up MSL and Kiabai in the corner. Getting a double kill with one nade. Always nice to have. Three to one the scoreline in favor of Hellraisers. And Dignitas with the first rifle round. An AWP in the hands of Nico. And Mu with only a scout. Let's see what Nico is able to do with his rifle. Going to the A bomb site, not spotting anyone. Dimitas with a basic build up, they have one player over at the B bomb site trying to find a CT off guard, and at the same time, they work their magic on the A bomb site with four over there. And Mu trying to go for the jump shots, but he doesn't see anyone. And that information is, of course, forwarded to his CT team members. At the same time, Kiaba is just standing in the corner, waiting for the CTs to make their move. Now, let's see. MSL makes his move on the A bomb side. Kiaba is still around in the vent room, trying to cut off two CTs over there. Let's see what he's able to do. With it. Takes down Doja in the CT spawn, then gets shut down by Angel. Dignitas need to execute on the A bomb site or figure out how to get to the B bomb site as Kucha takes out MSL. It was more or less their last chance to open up on A. The terrorists on the rotation towards the B bomb site where only one of the Hellraiser squad is trying to defend and he's actually still in middle. So he's got a long way to travel until he gets himself on the occasion. Pimp and company in control of B. Bomb is dropped. Hellraiser's coming in from every direction, trying to close out the terrorists as Kucha makes his way forward into middle. Nico puts down Angel. AZ with a frag onto Kucha. 1v3. Mu is the last man standing with a scout in his hands. Not so, not excellent. <laughs> not actually the weapon that he was looking for to have, but he makes it count anyway. Headshot for Nico. Now Pimp and AZ need to find 
away to keep him from defusing the bomb and AZ will make it look easy with that frag and the bomb will not even blow him up. Dignitas save two weapons and make it 3 to 2. Now Hellraisers did have the edge but they kind of rotated too slowly and then they moved into the B-bomb side one after each other. That was the basic mistake they did. Uh, they made and in the end it cost them the round. Dignitas back on track on the terrorist side after losing the second round against those weapons. Angel with a cheeky boost in the B-bomb side taking out Kia by there. Good frag for Hellraisers to open it up. Now they can go for some information. They'll play. Adren takes out MSL without having any information was still smoked off in A main making it a 3v5 Hellraisers can lean back a little bit but they can't lean back too far otherwise they might fall and that's of course what the Danes are trying to achieve here as AZ gets the opening frag in middle he gets some moving space for his teammates Moo is trying to retaliate goes for a scope in the A bomb site Hellraisers still have a firm grip on B but A is loosened up and Hellraisers now have a three-man stack over here while Dignitas are working on the A-bombs. So Kucha is alone over there and AZ is still in middle. Now cheeky boost by Hellraisers. Doja will walk into the middle. Oh, he gets caught off guard but AZ is not able to get the frag in time. Doja turns around, takes him out, makes it a 3v3, uh, a 4v2. Well, Zniku makes it a 2v3 with a frag onto Kucha. The A-bomb so was too weak. But Moo is already there with the AWP accompanied by Angel and of course by Doja who goes down to Nico. Nico in a 2v1 situation. Oh, he makes it a 1v1 then goes down to Moo. However, the stand in once again clutching an important round for Hellraisers and keeps Dignitas at bay as we're trying to flood the scoreline with Danish flags. 4-2-2. Hellraisers with 9 frags for Mu, 5 for Edren and Kuche. On the other side we have Nico with 6 and AZ with 5. So the Terror is still having a hard time finding their, com uh, their, their place in the game basically. They do have 3 rifles, one of them is only a scout. And Mu has an AWP and he proved to be dangerous with that weapon. But AZ with a Tech 9 will just charge in. He gets a headshot onto Adren. But Mu with a quick close quarter shot of the scope will make it a 3v4 again. Another swift shot by Mu. Taking out Kiaba who was trying to get the pressure to him. 2v4 now. Nico and Pimp in middle. They are cut off from everything. The CTs are all over the place. Mu has his scope pinned down on them and Angel is coming in from behind. He spots both of them. Good spray. Even though Doja was able to rob a frag. Angel got them both damaged quite a notch. 5 to 2 now for Hellraisers who are looking better on cash than they did on Mirage. Maybe it was some weird coincidence that they did so good on the terrorist side on Mirage that they didn't know or they they didn't actually maybe they didn't feel the pressure on the ct side at the start of the second half on mirage and then they just couldn't get them back on track anymore you know sometimes when the train is derailed there's no way of getting it back on tracks and now it seems like hellraisers is finding themselves a way into the match at rand with too quick we Recovering frags on the A bomb side, leaving Nico alone over there. He planted the C4, but he already or almost made it happen in the previous round. Now he's cornered against three CTs and they move in together. He's only got one flash and he needs to make it count. And he gets himself the first, blinds the other one, but Angel is there in a different angle. Nico didn't expect that, but once again, really good shown by Nico in a 1v3 situation. Almost made Hellraiser's heart jump a little bit. 6 to 2 now. And uh, Dignitas need to find a way. They still have quite a few rounds to work with. So no reason to sweat for the Danes right now. They have two rounds on the board. Even though it is a little bit sad for them that they didn't win the second round in this half. 
but they can still work with a scoreline like they have right now. Nico with the AWP back on A main, trying to find the CTs on the aggressive move, but in fact, it's AZ catching Mu on the aggressive move in middle. Straight headshot, good opener for the terrorists. Now Angel's down to 54. Oh, MSL with the headshot, uh, with the shot onto him making it a 5v3 msl down to 16 hp however he needs to stick back and let his teammates work and of course he's in some sort of a support role with two flashes and a smoke anyway so he can definitely stay back here by kucha trading blows kucha and adren fighting it out with the three remaining terrorists msl is down to 16 as i said before and he needs to watch out he runs into kucha but az with the reply makes it a 1v2 again the ct on the rotation and ran is catching up to the terrorists as nico and az try to figure out where he's coming from nico is not able to pick it up qu uh, fast enough as az plants a bomb it's a 1v1 situation crucial moment for dignitas they need this round on the board otherwise they full uh, they sh they would fall short 7-2-2 two, two. and AZ tries to keep the CT from capturing the bomb and good flash and equipment work by AZ and a good headshot to finish it off on Adren. Dignitas back on the board 3-2-6 and they are definitely working for their rounds. You can see it's not as easy as it was on Mirage when they went up 8-1 in their terrorist side and won the match like that. This time it is quite hard for them to find a way into those rounds and then close them out at the same time. Maybe it will be a little bit easier for them right now as the CTs lack the equipment. They don't have enough money anymore. Move with the scout in his usual position and he kind of needs to switch that up as well. We have seen MSL open up on A on Mirage a little bit too often. And now it's MSL going down to Angel in a me uh, in middle in the garage. Kiaba is able to replenish though. Makes it a 4v4 again. Mu on the hunt. F trying to find himself a target. Nico is quicker even though Mu was just popping up like a devil in the box. Evil in the box. He got himself the frag. Nico with a very good AWP performance today. And middle will be smoked off. The terrorists will make their way to the B bomb site. Right choice to make right now. Only one CT is over there, and it's Doja. But Doja won't be spotted by Nico. Cluelessly dropping from Wentz, making it a 2v2 quickly. As Pimp and Kiabai are dancing around the B bomb site, trying to find, trying to find Kucha as he goes down. When I was about to switch to him, Kiabai with the headshot onto Kucha, but Adren is coming from the back, and this, and the terrorists actually don't know that. As of yet, Pimp and Kier by Kierba with three frags in this round. Once again, massive performance by him. But Adren is fighting it out with the first already. He's depleting his ammunition. He needs to reload only three more shots in the magazine. And he goes with the pistol. But Gearby has him covered. Four frags for the youngster. He's only 16. And he's still or already making his stint in the scene. Biggest talent of the scene right now in... Maybe together with Simple and and Nico Linio from Mouse Sports. But he's definitely younger than both of them. And he's maybe even a little bit better than them. But he's a rifler. And Nico is a mixture between AWP and rifle. And Simple is a AWP player. So you can't actually compare them too much. So they all have their single specialist department where they are the biggest t talent in. Dignitas now up against this anti or this eco round by Hellraisers. And they will not have any trouble picking them off. Like Ravens with a corpse. They just sit there and pick apart Hellraisers. Angel is the one to reply with his P250 in the back step. But he only captures a UMP. Still uses that to take down the other UMP. AZ is going down. Now Pimp with an AK finally gets rid of the nuisance. But Dignitas with a 6-5 to five scoreline. They are doing better by the second. Of course, that winning streak of three rounds in a row helped them massively. They forced the CTs on a weak buy in this one already. They had no equipment. And Dignitas did a good job of abusing that. And won the other round as well. Now the Danes are about to draw the game. If they can make that happen. Hellraisers might be at the brink of 
going down again, at least momentum and mental wise. Nico takes down Mu, who still had only a scout in his hands. He he likes that weapon, I believe, but maybe he likes it a little bit too much. Kerbai, once again, patient play on the B bomb site. He's lurking around there time after time, ambushing the CTs and just getting the kills over there, weakening the defense, forcing Hellraisers to pull a player into middle that was actually designated to the A bomb site. And now. The CTs have, of course, weakened their forces on the A-bomb side. The terrorists are all over the place over there. Kucha will be the only guy standing as Doja tags hereby on the B-bomb side. Kucha with two frags onto MSL and Nico. Finally, Pimp gets out on top of him, gets the better of him, so to speak, at Rando with the refrag after... Pim took out the sole defender on the A-bomb side. AZ took down Adren. It's a 2v1 situation. Doja from afar rings off a shot onto Kia by 1v1 situation. Once again, it's AZ who's standing for the terrorists. And he already made it happen in one of his 1v1 situations. Now he's up against the AWP in the hands of Doja. And he's already spotted him. AZ with that smoke trying to abuse his... his equipment value once again doja is not aware that az is actually stalking him az was just moving around in the smoke trying to find the frag and now he realizes that doja is far away already and the bomb will blow up az wins that 1v1 situation without killing doja just with that smoke sometimes it's the equipment that gets you out on top of those situations six to six dignitas looking really good right now on the terror side even though they didn't win uh, the mandatory three rounds at the start of the half. They found a way into the match with a four round streak and they can actually expand that to five rounds. Make it seven to six in this first half on the second map between Hellraisers and Dignitas of course. Yeah, by with the first on the B bomb set once again he's switching up his playing style he was in here already he was in here already he was in here and he's just all over the place on the B bomb set being unpredictable like that is of course a key to success in CS overall and Kiaba, by despite his young age is already on top of the minds of the older players and the most or more accomplished players in the squad of Hellraisers He's making himself shine. Dignitas now run down the clock to 50 seconds. They are not yet committed to any of the bomb sites. Still waiting for Hellraisers to get impatient. But the CAS squad will hold themselves and hold their um, hold their positions. As I say, that Kucha and Mu on the rotation. Now Dignitas swarming into the B bomb site. Good execution by them. Doja is still in the back. He finishes off one, but misses his second shot. Then hits his third. He's pushed from every direction, but Kucha comes in from behind with a 5-7. Takes out Nico, makes it a 2v2. The AWP gets picked up by Kucha. And now Pim closes out Mu. It's easy to finish off Kucha, but a good effort by Hellraisers. Despite the lack of weapons, they made it very, very expensive for Team Dignitas. In the end, they didn't get the round, and that's what counts. If we go to the second half, Hellraiser's down around. Maybe Dignitas can actually expand the lead to 8 to 6. But Hellraiser's with a double AWP setup. Now Angel and Mu picking up the scope. Angel on the B bomb side, Mu as usual in middle. And Angel might actually find some opposition. He's got that smoke to work with against Kiavai. But the youngster is not fooled by the move. He's sticking back, just dancing around, throwing his equipment on the CTs and just trying to work and grind their minds right now. As it's still a 5v5, nobody to be found for Dignitas. No CT caught off guard yet. And they will venture forward into the b-bomb side without too much hesitation and they find the frag nico catches angel and the awp on the b-bomb side gets removed the ct's on a bad rotation to the a-bomb side now they need to rotate back and they have flashed off the terrorist quite nice uh, quite nicely but they didn't get anything on the board on the b bomb side they should have used that flash now somebody pushes back out and it's doja in the middle of the things nico though covers him with his awp and keeps his teammates alive in that hellraisers once again on a bad rotation then they decided to take it into their own hands 
but sadly for them it didn't work out they went in there with only one player it was Doja who was trying to catch the terrorists off guard and it didn't quite work out for the CAS squad Dignitas on the other side have Nico to cover their backs he did open up the round he kept them safe from Doja's backstab attempt and now he's even going for the exit frags and Nico all over the place right now even though Kierbei kind of is the nuisance maker on the b-bomb set right now Nico with 13, AZ and Kia by the same scoreline. Only MSL falling behind a little bit. But he's... I don't I don't know for sure if he's their caller, but he... At least replaced Fetish, who was their caller before. But on the other side, we have 13 for Moo, Kucho and Edren with 12 on Hellraisers. The CTs with the last round of this first half on Cash need to make up for their previous mistakes with two for masses and AWP for Mu at least that got saved from the previous round and Mu makes it happen onto Pimp on the A bomb side and three CTs it's the first time that the CTs have a good setup but Kierbai and AZ will quickly finish off Kucha and Mu another frag for the terrorists make is, uh, makes it a 2v4 situation Dignitas will actually make it 9 to 6 if Hellraisers don't come up with something really special in this retake situation they don't have any more equipment so they need to make it happen with their aim and their team play now let's see if that works out for them here by with the first Doja though with two frags quickly takes out MSL and AZ now Nico and Kierbai. Kierbai already wraps around Doja and gets him in the back. Doesn't allow him to take out Nico and makes it 9-6 to six in favor of Dignitas who were down 6-2-2 um, two, two already. Then they managed to win every single round by just abusing the weakness of Hellraisers which is mainly their... In my opinion was their um their rotation speed and at the same time the wrong calls on the rotation sometimes of course it's sometimes it's a 50 50 thing to just guess where the opponent is going but sometimes it's just the wrong call to make your teammates rotate now let's see what Harris can do in this pistol round. They need to pick it up, of course, and they need to win the second, the consecutive rounds. And they open up with two nice, quick frags on the B bomb side. They don't expect somebody else to be there. As Mu just jumps into Nico's face, Kierbai gets it back. Oh, Easy with a 180 degree shot onto Angel, makes it a 2v3, keeps the squad alive in this pistol round on the second half. And now they move in from the vents. They already have one to battle against. Adren gets a frag onto Easy. Kierbai with the reply though Kierba on the retake against Mu and Kucha Kucha is coming in from the back Kierba is not aware of that as Mu rings off a few shots he actually confuses Kierba a little bit but Kucha will take him out nonetheless 9 to 7 Hellraisers with the piston in the back now they need to follow it up with two more rounds to draw the game and do what is asked of them as they need to win the rounds that Dignitas have missed in the first half if they can do that it's up to Dignitas what they can do in the in the first rifle round of course Hellraisers with three rifles on the other side Dignitas with a scout for Nico and he tries to use that misses his first shot gets tagged a little bit needs to remove himself from this position under too much pressure He's just trying to keep the terrorists from pushing into the CT spawn alley. Or maybe get a backstab if they make it to the A bomb site. And Mu is already there to cover the backs of his teammates. Angel will flash in. And that's some some kind of aggression that I don't understand. It wasn't actually necessary to go for the frag over there, but of course he was in a better position. But if Nico hits the headshot, what what happens then? Maybe the whole strategy falls apart. But the Hellraisers make Dignitas fall apart. Five men surviving in the terror squad. No economy, um, no economy damaged by the CTs. And Dignitas with a full save right now, except for Pimp. Hellraisers with a good chance to come back into this match. They need to pick it up. There's no question about that. If they want to stay alive and if they want to win the second map, they need to get a stellar terrorist performance 
out on cash. Mu already tagging AZ down to 18 HP, but he doesn't expect anyone to be as close as the two CTs crammed in the corner over there. Maybe they just try to bait him. Now Kierbei takes over AZ's position, tries to bait the terrorists into moving into middle. As MSL and company are just waiting out there. MSL goes down to Mu's headshot with a, with a scout. Good job by him, still rocking the scout. He's really confident with that weapon. And now another headshot by Mu onto Niku, looking so swift and easy. I can quite understand why he goes with the scout in the weapon rounds as well. Kucha finishes off AZ and it's 9 to 9. Hellraiser's back in the game. Dignitas need to hold them off from closing out the game itself. If they win the rifle round, Dim Dignitas would be back on a save round. We would look at an 11 to 9. Then the second rifle round would be up and it would point us into the rough direction where this game is going. Pimp with the FAMAS move with the AWP finally upgrading his scope even though he could have kept the weaker scope he goes for the one shot one kill rifle as msl gets kucha damage down to 44 hp hellraiser still eager to get control of the b bomb side and ran with a good headshot takes out msl with a good angle makes it a 4v5 now hellraisers need to find a way to abuse that weakness dignitas have one player in middle pimp invents and nico on the b bomb side so the a bomb side would be the place to be for Hellraisers and they are actually rotating their forces over there as Nico tries to go out for the information. He spots nobody so that is information enough for the CTs to get the rotation. Angel gets a kill. Nico with a reply makes it a 3v4 and Kucha and Angel are very low on HP. This is still possible for the CTs if the terrorists don't plant the bomb soon enough. It's going to be a little bit too late. AZ now takes a bold prediction. He gets himself two kills. Mu under heavy pressure. But the USPS takes him down with a, with a headshot. Pimp gets pushed from behind by Kucha. Takes him out without any problem whatsoever. Now Mu on 6 HP. 20 seconds on the clock against two CTs. With an AK and an M4A1. Hellraiser's wasted too much time. And Nico will one click Mu down into oblivion 10 to 9 in favor of dignitas right now winning the first rifle round just thanks to slow play by hellraisers they had the a bomb set under control but they didn't make their move they had everything smoked off then az was able to creep in there and az was over here when he got two frags into the a bomb site demolishing hellraisers posture on the a bomb set and then it was all downhill for the CAS squad. Now Mu with the opening frag on Kia by trying to get the hopes higher for Hellraisers. But they lined up for the B bomb set and they have a good crossfire. At least the CTs have a good crossfire over there. What had happened? Move with the wallbang onto AZ. 3v4 still maintaining Hellraiser's edge, but Nico with a chance to take Mu out. Finally finding him, but Mu is down to 12 HP, still stays alive. Pimp doesn't stay alive against Adren, as it's a 4v2 on the B bomb side. Both CTs are on the B bomb side, and the terrorists are still on the doorstep of that, waiting for them to make a mistake. Finally, Hellraiser pulls it out. And pulls back to the B bomb side. Nico and MSL will of course rotate and try to get some body, uh, some some bodies over there. MSL and Nico will split up, and one takes the A bomb side, one takes middle. Angel has both lined up. Takes on one Kucha with a second frag, makes it 10 to 10 again. Trading rounds, and Mu was definitely the man of the round just now when he got. That shot against AZ through the wall. Great intuition by them or by him. And 22 frags on the board. On the other side, 19 for AZ. And the game couldn't be closer right now. Team Dignitas with a save round on the CT side. Hellraisers on the weapons. And of course, the momentum is now swinging into the favor of the terrorists. Kuchev with the opening frag onto MSL. Over at the B bomb site, Mu already got one CT pinned down, but he's not burning. Dignitas, uh, Nico was able to get himself on top of the sandbags to save him from the flames, but not from the HE, double HE by the terrorists. 
using their equipment to not lose any HP. And that's of course one important fact and one important basic thing to do in CS as well as Angel goes down to AZ. AZ has the, uh, has the AK in his hands on the A-bomb set. He will try to save that for the next round. And Hellraisers will make it 11 to 10. And Ren and Kucha are sent out to find the rifle in the hands of AZ. Trying to remove that, of course, damages the economy for the CTs. And they will open the door. Oh, not actually checked nicely enough by Adren. As he gets taken out by AZ. Even though he fired a few shots into the door. The reply didn't come instantly. So he turned away again. And that allowed AZ to take him down. In the end it was Kucha with a spray through the door. To take him out and leave the CTs on a full save. Hellraiser's now with a chance to make it 12 to 10. And inch away with a scoreline. But remember Dignitas is on the CT side. And they can still come back into this match. Especially if Moo doesn't hit shots like that. Kucha now under some pressure. He needs to find those frags. He only finds one. And now it calls in for some assistance. Adren will hose down the CT's aggression. And the B-bomb set is more or less under control for Hellraiser's. They are still slowed down. They expect somebody else to be around. There is a beautiful team flash on Kuche. The CT is trying to find another frag here. By takes out Angel. Actually drops the bomb. And now he's on the verge of getting himself on the rifle as well. But he must have been cut off by the terrorist. Doesn't get his hands on the AK. And actually removes himself from the occasion. Tries to find a weapon on the B-bombs. And tries to save that for the next round. Even though he's down to 9 HP. He might actually find a weapon. Or actually be on the right bomb site. If Hellraisers go to be. It's going to be another frag at least for Kiebi. If he surprises them like I expect him to do. Now he at least knows that there's some action. They're moving in. Kiebi still on the hunt, still looking for his frag, and he at least gets himself the kill onto Doja. And that, of course, stings a little bit for Hellraiser. Say they, they will, you know, one more CT alive. Where could he be? Let's go to the B-bomb side, and then, nah, of course he's over there. What are the odds? But Dignitas, still down two rounds. Hellraiser's need to prevent themselves from cheering too loud the CTs can definitely come back into this match with a quick streak Pimp and Nico with two AWPs and on the other side we of course have Mu on the B bomb set and he gets taken out by Pimp already Doja behind the door just keeps himself at bay a little bit Kucha picked up that scope and of course he is quite capable to take somebody down with a scope maybe um, he's not as experienced as a full dedicated AWP player could be, but he definitely knows his way around this rifle, as most probably every single pro does. I kind of expect every single rifle rifleman to be able to hold the scope and do basic stuff like opening up a round on B bomb set or something like that. Now Adren opens up on middle, gets a better off AZ, draws it back to a 4v4, equal player count on both sides. MSL however is down to 24 HP and if he catches just one bullet or if Kucha decides to toss a snade at him or a Molotov burns him, MSL is down and out, he needs to watch out and let his teammates work for now but he's on the B bomb side and he's under some pressure. Kucha is around the corner now. MSL called in for Pim to replenish his numbers on the B bombs and trying to get control of that. MSL turns around too late. Adren takes him out and Angel with a stellar headshot onto Pim quickly takes him out as well. Makes it a 4v2. And as quick as that, Hellraisers have the round under control. No need for the CTs to risk their rifles. Nico and Kierba will go for the save. And Hellraisers will win another rifle round. Another important round for them on their way to the draw. And Nico finds himself Doja, picks him up, takes him home in his little pocket. And they have a 
quite a nice setup to cover themselves but the terrors are all over the place now it's the question if hellraisers will actually fully commit to the removal of those rifles and they do nico with one kiabai with one kiabai with the second they actually wipe the terrorists from the floor and even though kiabai didn't save the awp in in the end he at least got himself a rifle to the next round and maybe he can use that to make hellraiser stumble a little bit as cis squad is approaching the match point only two more rounds to go for them dignitas with a force by p250 for az and nico and that rifle in kiabai's hands will put down two of the terrorist msl with one on the b bomb set as well quickly making it a 4v2 hellraisers just stumbled into this wall and they hit their head very very hard especially in middle good setup by the cts to draw the attention away from kiabai and have him stand in the open unexpected position to be in and of course Kiabai picked up two frags over there now MSL just taunting Kucha a little bit Kucha tossed that nade at MSL got him killed but MSL was moving out into the open in time to get himself the frag now Moog takes out Kiabai with 5 HP plans to C4 in this 1v1 situation Pimp doesn't have armor but well the AWP will kill him in one shot anyway and Moon now has a spawn Ellie under control. Pim will be coming from that direction and he flashes out. Moo spots him, but at the same time, Pim spots Moo. Now Moo tosses a few nades at Pim, trying to confuse him in some way, but he doesn't. Pim has him covered. And a nice frag by the Dane will finally get the Dignitas back on the board. Now the defuse is getting a little bit close, but Pim had it covered all the way. If Mu had burned off some, a few more seconds, it would have been possible for Hellraisers to win it just due to the clock. But like that, Dignitas is back on the board and they are back on rifles full setup for them full equipment as well trying to make it as hard as possible for hellraisers to win another round on the terrorist side on cash this is of course the go champions league thank you for tuning in and this game is quite thrilling more thrilling than mirage was after all maybe dignitas can actually get themselves another draw on the board ah msl spots into b but at the wrong moment kucha was tossing a nade and spraying at the same time removing the first ct from the battle it's of course a good advantage for the terror uh, for the terrorists doja almost losing his life to the quick spray by az there on top of that box spraying into the squeaky door doja was right behind that now the terrorists still hesitating on where to go the cts have one at b one in middle and two at the a bomb site so hellraisers need to figure out where that weakness is and it's definitely not middle as nico has one figured out kucha will walk into that crosshair and gets taken out straight away 4v4 again hellraisers too hesitating in my opinion they need to figure out where the, to go and then they need to commit and they can't afford to lose one player after each other just like they do once again angel goes down to kievay in the a bomb said it's a 3v4 just because of hellraisers pushing one after each other once again and single target popping up on az screen no problem for him now it's moon to be taken out and now it's doja dignitas have all their angles covered and they are not at all um shaky if they lose the first encounter in the round now that was just due to hellraiser's hesitate and play in my opinion and of course they went for the information they sent one play into middle okay awp is in middle who would have thought then they sent one into the a bomb site oh there's one at one one at a who would have thought then they sent another one into middle Oh, they are still covering middle. Who would have thought? And just like that, they they just lose player after player. And it's quite hurtful to see a terrorist side to give up a one-man advantage without getting a single frag back. Now that save round by Hellraisers, of course, is not too successful either. Dignitas back with a 13 to 13 scoreline thanks to that rifle round that they have won. Even though they were down a man quite early in the round, Hellraisers were just waiting 
for the teammates to be picked off one after each other. 13 to 13. Hellraiser's back on weapons though. And Dignitas need to hold them off. Three more rounds for either team. And we have another winner in the Go Champions League. Now Moose steps into the flames. Actually doesn't get damaged by them. Angel though damages Kier by... And it was mort mortal damage dealt to Kier by MSL. Almost goes down as well on the B. Bombset Harris is attacking on every single front. Now the thing that I criticized them for in the previous round actually works in this one. But they only get one frag. Now it's up to them what they want to do with that frag. If they want to go to the B bomb side or execute on middle or something like that. They just send in Mu to the B bomb side to check it out. Doja gets caught in the A bomb side. He had a really good position, but AZ had him covered. Now Pim got himself into middle, dropped the bomb as well on its way to the B bomb side. Flames himself off and gets himself a nice and easy retreat into the deeper parts of middle. Once again, Hellraiser's giving away a one-man advantage to the CTs. 4v3. Team Dignitas are hurt. So the terrorists are still not out of this round. But they have the rotational awareness at the moment. And Rando takes out Nico in middle. And now it's a little bit easier to attack the B bombs. It's still two CTs are standing between... Um, the Hellraisers and the round win as Pim moves in through the smoke, gets himself to kill onto Kucha and Ren with a reply onto MSL. But Pim is still walking around and he drops the bomb once again. It's a Dren though, still standing for the terrorist. Seven seconds on the clock. Pim and AZ in CT spawn. AZ will close out a Dren, and it was a move of pure desperation that a Dren was trying to get into CT spawn and get a frag. He realized there was no point trying to plant the bomb anymore. And Dignitas win another round. Make it 14 to 13. Force Hellraisers on attack 9 train. Just to keep the Danes from securing match point. Now move with that flash into the A bomb set does actually flash one of the CTs as Doja moves in with that Tech 9 in hand. He gets himself the first headshot. Good speed by Hellraisers to remove the first. The CTs are actually scared away from the A bombster, but not for AZ and Nico who are drawing it back. Now move takes down AZ, makes it a 3v3. The CTs with a big investment with that auto scope in the hands of MSL. He's yet to pick up a frag with that scope. At least he got a frag with the HE grenade. Doja and Angel still working against those three CTs. They remove one of them, make it a 2v2, but a quick frag by Nico on Doja. And at the same time, MSL on Angel will make it 15 to 13 in favor of Dignitas, who somehow found a way back into this match. As Hellraisers were looking quite good with a 7 to 1 lead on the second half. The CTs drew it back and. Now it's Dignitas with a five-round streak. Hellraisers need to keep them from winning the second map. And they need to win two rounds in a row. Of course, we would see an overtime to find a winner of the second map. Nico, though, wins the battle against Adren. And three scopes in the CT squad. Two AWPs. Nico, Pimp, and then MSL with the auto scope. Pimp on the B-bomb side. Nico on middle and msl on a and msl gets taken up after just one frag 4v3 hellraisers once again slowing it down waiting for the cts to make their move and now the cts have three players over at the a bomb site still hellraiser seems to be committed to that site as they have one player in main a reinforced with another one and the bomb is hanging out in middle now, it seems like the CIS squad has made up their minds. They leave Mu behind in A main to find a frag. And the rest of the squad is waiting in middle for Mu to open it up on A. Now, the CTs rotate one player, but very hesitate in rotation. They know that the terrorists need to fake somewhere to weaken the opposition. And now, let's see if Mu can find that opening frag on the A bomb side. He picks up AZ, scopes up on the second one. It will be Nico, however, who takes down Kucha. Mu on the verge of... Ah, well, he 
didn't go for that shot. He went for a quick scope onto Nico, but he didn't hit it. 3v2 now, 2v2, thanks to Angel coming in from the middle. Now Moon needs to help his teammate out, but Pimp takes down Angel before Moon can actually plant the bomb. Now it's a 1v2 situation. Once again, the stand in against the two CTs, and he will go down to Kierbai from the back. Good performance by Dignitas to hold on to the match. 28 frags for um for az i believe and 28 for mu good good performance by dignitas to say the least they will win both maps in the go champions league sponsored by twitch steel series and dreams media of course so thank you for tuning in and um, this was the first match of today we will move into the second between flipside and dignitas straight away